Would you please welcome Alundra Blaine? She is a sensational athlete. Where do you see the moves Alundra Blaze makes in the square circle? What a competitor, what an athlete. WWE Hall of Famer Alundra Blaze was arguably the most dominant female wrestler of the 90s and one of the greatest talents in sports entertainment history. Obviously, she is afraid of no one. Wants to take on all comers. The new women's champion. Congratulations to Alundra Blaze. Blaze captured the WWE Women's Championship in impressive three times. Alundra Blaze, once again, the women's champion. With such an incredible resume, it'd be hard to imagine any diva being better than that. You know what? I am better than that. Paige was not only the first ever NXT Women's Champion, but also a two-time WWE Divas Champion. With an outstanding list of achievements at a remarkably young age, Paige is at the forefront of the Divas Revolution and shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. I'll challenge you right here, right here and now. It's the two most dominant divas of their generations. That is my championship, and this is my house. Paige versus Blaze, and it's happening at WrestleMania. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Norwich, England, Paige. Since her debut the night after WrestleMania 30, Paige has submitted herself as one of the most dominant divas in all of WWE. Oh, dominant indeed. But Paige isn't your average diva, JR. She refuses to be a cookie-cutter diva. Paige insists on blazing her own trail. Her opponent from Tampa, Florida, Alundra Blaze. Having competed against countless competitors the world over, I can assure you, Alundra Blaze is no stranger to squaring off against the very best of the best. And that's exactly what Alundra Blaze has in front of her here tonight with Paige, the best. In fact, last year at the tender age of 21, Paige became the youngest competitor to ever win the Divas Championship. This California crowd is on its feet in anticipation of this historic clash of generations. Paige, one of today's most dominant divas, taking on the Hall of Famer. Here's the cover. She's got some fight left in her. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. Nice counter. Wow, what a drop kick. Going for the double play with this move. Oh, out of nowhere. Look at this now. She reversed it. Reversal. Wow! Unbelievable! 
incredible impact there. Damage being done to the leg here. And a reversal. Whoa, she wants this win bad. She's clearly not shy about proving her dominance. Watch out! I missed that by a good foot or two. Right to the kisser. Reversed. She's back in now. She's putting the entire deep. Oh, nice counter. The shoulders are down. One. The kick out. This one's not over yet. And that wild attack won't find a home. Can she keep her down? What intensity. Oh, a serious knockout blow. She's clearly not shy about proving her dominance. She slams her down with great force. Reversal. Not this. That was an act of pure aggression. There's some serious power right there. Hey, the shoulders are down. And she got the shoulder up in time. She reversed it. and ears open in this game, folks. I can't get over what we just saw. That was a great move. Longtime WWE fans will never forget the Smash Mouth series of matches that Alundra Blaze had with the legendary Bull Nakano in the early 90s. You're right about that, JR. I was ringside for their historic encounter at SummerSlam 1994, and I can honestly say that their battles may very well have changed the women's wrestling scene forever. Of course, that night, Alundra Blaze retained her women's championship, but she wasn't so lucky a few months later when Nakano dethroned the champ in a thrilling match from Japan. The shoulders are down, and she's still in it. She's putting the entire Divas roster on notice here. I have a feeling we're going to see several more demonstrations like that before the night's over. 
This may settle the score. Look at this beatdown. trouble right here. Somebody's got the shoulders are down. Alunder Blaze with a win. Is this an upset? Alunder Blaze has defeated Paige. Well, that's how you prove you still got it, JR. Here is your winner, Alundra Blaze. Oh, JR, Alundra Blaze with a hard-fought victory over the standard bearer of the current generation of divas, Paige. And Paige has learned a few hard lessons here tonight that she will undoubtedly educate the entire crop of divas on in the very near future. Larry Zabisco, the steel man from the Steel City. Another 2015 WWE Hall of Fame inductee, Larry Zabisco, began his career in the early 1970s under the tutelage of his famous mentor, Bruno Sammartino. Perhaps the closest friend you have in professional wrestling will make reference to Larry Zabisco. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, and I'm very proud of him. With a natural ability in the ring, the living legend reached new heights in the world of sports entertainment, becoming a two-time AWA heavyweight champion. The new heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Zabisco. A decorated singles champion, Zabisco set his sights on the WCW Tag Team Division, teaming up with Arn Anderson to create the Enforcers. Willing to do whatever it takes, Anderson and Zabisco continued their ruthless ways, capturing the WCW Tag Team titles. It don't matter how many muscles you have, it doesn't matter how many takedowns you learned at some jerkwater college. There's no more easy way you want these. You have to go through the enforcer. The newly formed tag team of Barry Windham and Dustin Rhodes were next in line for a shot at taking down the vicious enforcers. With the title shot looming, it was the enforcers who struck first. Oh, my oh, gosh! Back. Anderson and Zabisco had to be a premeditated attack. The Enforcers went into Clash of the Champions 17, knowing they had the upper hand. Yet in the midst of their corrupt confidence, it was a surprise announcement like that would change guys. everything. And I want to introduce Dustin's tag team partner in this world tag team title match. It's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat! And Anderson and Zabisco are going Will the Enforcers retain their WCW Tag Team titles, or will the newly formed team of Rhodes and the Dragon emerge victorious? Anderson and Zabisco are masters of the proverbial game of human chess. And they must adapt here. They must make some adjustments to account for the, the in-ring style, the quick style, if you will, King, of Ricky Steamboat. Now, I don't know about that, JR. I think they have to do the same thing that brought them to the World Tag Team Championship. And that's relentless double teaming and keeping the opponent in their corner. Either way, they cannot come unglued. They cannot let the presence of the dragon get into their heads. It looks like a visit to the chiropractor's office will be in order after this one. He's trying to get inside his head. The human body can only absorb so much of that. He hasn't even given his opponent a chance to breathe. He makes the tag. 
And now he's back out onto the apron. Oh, nice counter. He was ready for that one. How in the world did he counter that? And there's a reversal. Oh, nice counter. He just reversed that with ease. Look at this, JR. WCW Tag Team Titles in the line here for Clash of Champions in Savannah. This Dustin Rhodes. Ooh. With that bionic elbow, Ricky Steamboat against the champions. Arn Anderson and Larry Zabisco. And Dustin Rhodes in charge now. Dustin Rhodes is cleaning up on the opposition with the tag titles on the line here. Hang on, Dustin. This match is a long way from being over. Don't gloat yet. Referee getting Dustin back in a neutral corner. Arn wants a timeout. What? You have exceeded your limit of timeouts, considering there are none, Arn. I didn't know you had timeouts in WCW. And Arn tags in Larry Zabisco. Oh, hi, Larry. I was a Bruno <laughs> at Chase Stadium in 83. And now Larry's here. He makes the tag. Rearranged his face. He makes the tag. And he turns the tide. Wow, he did not expect that to happen. Acrobatic tricks. The Smith, they are. That's a freak. The cover, we got new tag champions. New WCW tag team champions. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners and new world tag team champions. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and the natural Dustin Rose. Oh, what a welcome home party for Ricky Steamboat. Steamboat and Rhodes are new tag team champions. And look at that. Arn Anderson, Larry Zabisco taking the walk of shame.